Hey guys, Aaron from the Boss 140 here today with some Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, this can be a deck profile and the deck that I'm going to be running post the release of Tachyon Galaxy. So, yeah, let's get on with it. I tested the deck out. I completed the deck this morning, actually. Um, I did really well, I think. It's a really cool build. I like it um, a lot. But, sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I was... Ill. Still am really, but you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, let's get on with the deck. Don't hate me for this, but you know, it wins. So, uh, three of the big fire dragon blaster, two of the little fire dragon, baby fire dragon, um, burner, um, so yeah, that's it, f um, that's those. And then, three bear, uh, you thought I was playing elemental dragons. Nah, please, I can't afford three dragon sack. Um, so yeah, three bear, you know, out to everything. Um, used to be the main card in the deck, it used to be the card in the deck. It used to be, like, bear and friends. And then standard one gorilla. Um... And that's it for like, yeah, um, but then, like, with Tachyon, it gave access, like, after the deck profile, I choose some, like, the main combos, but, um, I, can, I play three, um, Brofist Spirit now, because, um, it works with Burner as well, and it also works with the new card that came out in Tachyon, um, Leopard, or what Leopard, what, um, uh, sorry, what, um, Spirit does is when it's summoned, when it's normal summon, you can special summon a level three or lower fire mo level three fire monster with two hundred defense from your grave. But in exchange, you can only attack with beast warriors for the rest of the turn. But that's fine. Um, so it works with burner. And it works with leopard as well. And what leopard does is you can s tribute one um, fire fist monster. It's this is a really um, good ruling to know. It doesn't have to go to the graveyard. It just says tribute. Um, nine times out of ten, or ten times out of ten, you're going to be tributing himself, and want you tribute him to set a fire formation from your deck. So it works really well with spirit. But yeah, that's it for your monster lineup, guys. It's fifteen. Uh, at the end of the deck profile, I'll do some like, explanations and stuff as well. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um. Just me dying, you know, casually. Onto the spells. Um, standard three tanky. And the be one of the best, the, the best fire formation. Just search all your like bears, your spirits, stuff like that. Um, next, I play two tensu. I chose to up tensu to two because sometimes you need to summon bear and pop like the problem monster, and then summon spirit and go off. So yeah, that's why I put Tensu to do, just because you just, you just play, the play style changed a bit. And then with the release of Tachyon, we now have um, a Fire Formation Gyoko. This is basically a searchable night beam. It um, gives plus 100 to all Beast Warriors, like all Fire Formations do. But Gyoko ta says, um, target one set spell or trap card your opponent controls. Um, they can't chain it and um... The targeted card can't be chained in response to Gyoko, and as long as Gyoko is face up on the field, they can't activate that card. So yeah, Gyoko is pretty good. It's like a searchable night beam. And because of Gyoko, I only feel the need to play two MST. And then, like, if you notice what I said before, uh, Spirit Burner and Leopard all have 200 defense, and that's eight cards in the deck. So. Um, double rekindling. This card is the nuts. Like, by no means is it necessary. It's a windmill card, but sometimes it is, like isn't out, and it is a really good card. Like you can even rekindling for two in this deck and still go like plus two, three off it easily. So yeah, this rekindling is really good in this deck. I love it, and it's such a good top deck as well. So yeah, that's it for the spells. I can't remember how. Oh, sorry, it's not it for the spells. 
um, Dirk, Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy, the Trinity, here. Now that's it for the spells. I don't know how many there is off the top of my head though. Um, oh sorry for the sniffing guys. Um, anyway, onto the traps. Double Tarantula, because mass removal is good. Mm. Um, double fiend chain, stop big eye, stop stuff. Um, double mirror force because attack hitting, like attacking is a thing. Mirror force is really helpful. Um, double bottomless for summon negation. Um, judgment, warning, and start road. That's it for the main deck, guys. Um, nothing really in the chaps have changed. I took out D Prism because um, I felt like Mirror Force put in more work and um, I didn't want to like play D Prism because it only hits one monster and a lot of decks swarm nowadays. Well, yeah, eh, most of them. Onto the extra deck Stardust for the Starlight Road and then. Uh, Three Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Horse Prince. What he does is he's a level 6 synchro, 2200 attack, 2200 defense. When he's synchro summoned, you can um, special summon one level f 3 fire monster from your deck. Um, but after you synchro summon him, you can't synchro, you can't special summon a level 5 or higher monster f for the rest of the turn. But if you do it before you summon him, that's fine. Um, so yeah, he's really good. Um, you make this like crack, so I play one bouncer, and then to, you might think this is really like hard to do because I've only got three. But to put it into to put it into perspective for you, I brought this out at least once a match today in my locals. So yeah, it's ridiculously easy to do. And then I still like I only play four level fours, but I still play like the good rank fours. One tiger king, because you can make it maestro generic. Abyss Dweller, Water, Emerald because it's shiny, and Cowboy, Cowboy for game all day long, and then on to the rank 3's, 3 Lion Emperor, this is like one of my favourite cards in the extra deck because um, it's a rank 3, um, 2 level 3 fire monsters, you can make it with burner or anything, and you can detach one material to add any fire monster from your grave to your hand. Um, which is really, really good. Um, you can even add, uh, what's his nuts? Blaster, the big dragon with him. And then, like, pop blast, pop the blaster effect of this, add it back to your hand, pop again. But you can't summon the card you add with him this turn, or a card with the same name. But yeah, and also, he's actually got 200, he's also a rekindling target as well. But yeah, he's just really good to help keep up your hands, because obviously, he's gonna. Give you a plus one every turn. And then Levia and Zen mains for generic rank threes. Um not gonna lie to you guys, didn't go into most of the extra deck today. The only cards I went into were um Bouncer, Horse Prince, Lion Emperor, and then Start Road. Um onto the Onto the extra uh, side deck, sorry. Ah, messy. Um, triple Banisher of the Radiance, Water Hate. Um, good stuff. Double Thunder King, Prophecies, E Dragon stuff. Double Fossil Dino, Samurai, uh, Heretics, E Dragons, Mo Mel, yes. Maxi thinking of putting this to three, especially in September when like banishes and stuff like come out. Mermel's not really gonna be a thing. I'm definitely gonna play three Maxi. Um, two D Fisher, more water hate, and then double soul drain for water dark world knee dragons. And then double mind drain for water prophecy, and. E Dragons. This is another card that came out in Tachyon Galaxy. 
Um, it's basically like skill drain for the hand. You pay a thousand, and then cards in the hand can't be activated. So yeah, that's it for the side deck. So yeah, like I said, I'll tell you the main com like what, some combos with the deck. Um, I'm really sorry for all this slipping, guys. Um, basically, what you can do is um. Um, Zomba God. Say you like opened like just this, which isn't or this and any fire monster or or like this and any fire monster or even just this. That, that's like a less good combo, but I'll teach you how to do it anyway. Um, yeah, like the idea would be like this and a fire monster that you don't really care about, like gorilla or something. So yeah, you pitch this and this, obviously, and then you get like blaster as a 2800 wall, which is really good. And then um, um, yeah, you can summon spirit because now you're set up so you can special burner with spirit and a synchro for horse prints. And horse prints effect activates. We'll get you a leopard, and you can sack leopard, and then set like a one of these three. Probably gonna be tanky, but yeah. And then you can like search bear, so you have an owl, or search another spirit if you want to keep going. Or alternatively, if you didn't have the spirit, you can just be like summon this. Sack it, get tanky, tanky get. God, I'm so sorry for this, guys. And then tanky get um, spirit, and stuff like that. Or you can um, and wait, yeah. Even if you just um, like rekindling for this, um, even if you just like activate rekindling on these. And you can still make the horse prints, then get this, and then sack this for Tanky, and Tanky get another spirit, and then you can summon spirit, and get leopard, and then make like, um, because you can only use leopard's effect once per turn, so then you can make, um, like, a lion emperor, and detach, like, leopard or something. Then add that spirit back to your hand, and that's all off one rekindling. You have you now have a tanky, a lion emperor, a horse prince, and a spirit. And since that's how easy, like this card makes this. So then, base if you can keep it alive, which isn't that isn't that hard to do. You just make a bouncer. Um. So yeah, that's like the combos with the deck guys and then obviously you got bear as an out so that's been the new th deck profile for um Lord of the on Galaxy it's no longer bear and friends it's fire fist with a freaking thing so yeah I hope you like the you know, I hope you like the deck profile guys um let me know if you like doing like the explanations behind the like combos and stuff in the deck profile or whether you want that to be a separate video I don't know so yeah, it's been Aaron from Debus140. Bye guys.